before we proceed on our discussion, let me present to you our objectives. At the end of this video, you should be able to Define polynomial function Illustrate polynomial function Identify the types of a polynomial function according to degree Transform polynomial functions into a standard form and identify leading term, leading coefficient, degree, and the constant term. We already discussed polynomial equation in the previous lesson. It is a mathematical statement wherein two expressions are set equal. Example is the expression 2x cubed minus x squared is equal to the expression x plus 10. Also, Polynomial equation is a polynomial expression which has been set equal to zero. Example is the polynomial expression 3x squared plus x plus 10 is equal to zero. For today, we will be talking about polynomial function. By definition, a polynomial function is an expression which consists of a single independent variable where the variable can occur in the equation more than one time with different degree of the exponent. A polynomial is generally represented as p of x or f of x. Example is p of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared plus x plus 4, wherein the single independent variable is x, which occur in different degree of the exponent, such as degree 3, degree 2, and degree 1. Another example of a polynomial function is f of x is equal to x cubed plus x minus 5. Also, a polyno polynomial function can be written like this. We have y is equal to 4x squared plus x minus 12. Since p of x, f of x can also be written in the form of y. Let's have a simple activity. Determine whether each of the following is a polynomial function or not. Number one. This is a polynomial function. Next. This is not a polynomial function. Next, this is considered as a polynomial function. For this one, this is not polynomial function. Again, this is not polynomial function. Lastly, this is not polynomial function. Let us analyze the following not polynomial functions. Why don't we consider them as a polynomial function? For number 1, we have p of x is equal to 1 over 2x cubed plus 2 over 3x raised to the 4th minus 3 over 4x raised to 5th. This is not a polynomial function since denominator has a variable. For number 2, p of x is equal to negative 4x raised to negative 10 plus 4x raised to 10. This is not a polynomial function since we have a negative exponent. We have negative 10. For number 3, p of x is equal to x raised to 3 fourth plus 3x raised to 1 fourth plus 7. This is not a polynomial function since we have a fractional exponent. For last number, p of x is equal to 5x cubed minus 4 square root of 2x plus x. This is not a polynomial function since we have a variable inside a radical sign. Therefore, a polynomial function does not have any variable in the denominator does not have a negative exponent, 
does not have a fractional exponent and does not have any variable inside a radical sign. Just like a polynomial equation, we also have different types of polynomial function according to degree. The first type of polynomial function is a linear function, wherein the degree is 1. Example is f of x is equal to x plus 3, wherein the leading term is x. Next is quadratic function. We have degree 2. Example is f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 5, wherein the leading term is x squared. Next example is cubic function. The degree is 3. Example is f of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared plus 5. The leading term is x cubed. Next is the quartic function, wherein the degree is 4. Example is f of x is equal to 6x raised to the fourth minus x minus 4, wherein the leading term here is 6x raised to the fourth. And we also have the quintic function, wherein the degree is 5. Example of this is f of x is equal to 6x raised to the fifth minus 2x cubed minus 5x squared, wherein the leading term is 6x raised to the fifth power. The terms of a polynomial function may be written in any order. However, if they are written in decreasing powers of x, we see that the polynomial function is in standard form. Let's have an example. Suppose that we have a polynomial function and we want to transform this in standard form. To do that, we need to arrange the terms in decreasing powers of x. So we have y is equal to negative 2x raised to the fourth since that is the term with the highest exponent, followed by positive 6x cubed. Then, we have 5x squared, and lastly, the constant number 2. Therefore, the standard form is y is equal to negative 2x raised to the fourth plus 6x cubed plus 5x squared plus 2. Polynomial function may also be written in factored form and as a product of irreducible factors. That is, a factor that can no longer be factored using coefficients that are real numbers. Example is y is equal to x raised to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus 13x squared minus 10x. In factored form, we have y is equal to x quantity x minus 5, quantity x plus 1, quantity x plus 2. Also, we have f of x is equal to 6x cubed plus 45x squared plus 66x minus 45. In factored form, we have f of x is equal to 3, quantity 2x minus 1, quantity x plus 3, quantity x plus 5. At this point, we will transform the polynomial function on its standard form and identify the leading term, leading coefficient, degree of polynomial, and the constant term. The polynomial function is f of x is equal to 2 minus 11x plus 2x squared. To transform this in its standard form, we will write first the term containing the highest exponent. So in this case, we have 2x squared, that is the quadratic term, followed by the linear term, negative 11x, and the constant term, 2. Next is the leading term. The leading term is 2x squared, the term containing the highest exponent. The leading coefficient is the coefficient of the leading term, so we have 2. The degree of the polynomial is the exponent of the leading term. We also have 2, or we have the second degree polynomial. And the constant term is the term that does not have any variable. So we also have 2. Let's have another example. So we have 
A polynomial function f of x is equal to x quantity x squared minus 5 quantity plus 2. In order to transform this in its standard form, we will distribute first x to x squared and negative 5. Okay, so the standard form of the polynomial function is f of x is equal to x cubed minus 5x plus 2 since x times x squared is x cubed and x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Next is the leading term. The leading term is the term containing the highest exponent. So in this case, we have x cubed. Next is the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is the coefficient of the leading term. So we have 1. The degree of the polynomial is the exponent of the leading term. So we have 3 or third degree. And the constant term is the term that does not have any variable. So in this case, we have 2. Let's have our last example. The polynomial function is f of x is equal to quantity x plus 4, quantity x plus 1, quantity x minus 1, quantity squared. To transform this in standard form, we can write it in the form f of x is equal to x plus 4, x plus 1, x minus 1, x minus 1. Since x minus 1 quantity squared can also be written in x minus 1 times x minus 1. Then, we can uh, apply FOIL method. So we have x squared plus x plus 4x plus 4 quantity x squared minus x minus x plus 1. After applying FOIL method, we can now simplify. x plus 4x is 5x, negative x minus x is negative 2x. After simplifying, we can now distribute x squared plus 5x plus 4 to x squared minus 2x plus 1. After distribution, we can now combine like terms or simplify our polynomial function. So we have f of x is equal to x raised to the fourth power plus 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 3x plus 4. Therefore, the standard form of the polynomial function is this. f of x is equal to x raised to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 3x plus 4. The leading term is the term containing the highest exponent. So we have x raised to the fourth power. The leading coefficient is the coefficient of the leading term. So we have 1. The degree of the polynomial is the exponent of the leading term. So we have fourth degree of polynomial. And the constant term is the term that does not contain any variable. So we have 4.